Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from The Right Way and I've got another video about how useless and toothless this current lefty Labour government is when they're trying to uh, when trying to get rid of um, trash tenants in their state housing. So before we start, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you're welcome to give it a thumbs down. And if you like my content, please subscribe as well. So Kainga is under fire after Black Power Gang Party in Wangarei State House. So this, I covered this in one of my previous videos. This is carrying on from this and we also have some um, comment from uh, ministers in the government as well. A terrified elderly couple say were forced to cower inside their home after the abusive um, neighbours held a Black Power Party at which the police officer was allegedly assaulted and a reveller tried to steal a patrol car. As the party kicked off on Saturday night, police advised the Whangarei couple to stay inside their neighbouring property for their own safety. Both the couple and these trash people are in state housing. Patched gang members boozed from hours of drinking, allegedly crashed a car outside the property and urinated in the shared driveway while shouting obscenities as officers dealt with the disorder. Now, they can't stop people from having a party, but um, they can try and control it um, if the party gets out of hand. But the State Housing Authority Kainga Ora can evict these people, but they've been told by this useless government that they're not allowed to evict this people. That's the problem. Kainga Ora admits it was aware of the planned gathering, but says it was powerless to stop it, instead advising neighbours to call police with any concerns. They've had more than 20 calls to the police in the last few months. What are they supposed to do now, Kainga Ora Labour government? You are absolutely hopeless. It was horrific. The 69-year-old wife told the Herald it was a mess. I was shaky like a leaf. The Herald reported last week how the couple had been subjected to death threats by one of the tenants, a black power gang member who allegedly threatened to slit the 82-year-old husband's throat and watch him bleed out. Still, the government and the housing authority still would not do anything about this. It's totally unacceptable. And if you are a Labour supporter, you should be ashamed of yourselves for um, voting these type of useless people into government. Um, Associate Minister of Public Housing, House, Public Housing Poto Williams told the Herald people deserve to feel safe in their homes and her agency said the tenants' behaviour is unacceptable. So effin evict them, you hopeless Labour politician. Evict these people, get them out of the house so that these people that live next door can get back to some semblance of normality in their lives. Following recent coverage of the issue, the government was now reviewing how its, sustain, how its sustaining tenancy policy was being implemented and if changes were necessary, Williams said. Of course changes are necessary. Change the policy so that if you um, are causing problems for the people around you, you will get evicted. We don't give a shit where these people go. If they have children, put the children into state care and the parents can do whatever they want to. They can go sleep under a bridge as far as I'm concerned. They've been given the benefit of living in a state house. They only have to pay 25% of their income for rent. The rest of it is covered by the government. So they should be very grateful for getting a state house. And if they're not concerned with um, being good citizens, then they should be evicted. Following multiple police call-outs to the Whangarei property, Kainga Ora is now paying for the couple to attend weekly counselling sessions and daily security patrols and offering to relocate them to an Airbnb at the taxpayer's expense while it tries to convince the offending tenants to move to another state house. You absolute idiot! You don't have to convince them. Just tell them. You move to this state house next week or you go somewhere else and we're going to evict you. That's all you need to say. You don't need to say anything else. It's absolutely unacceptable how this Labour government and um, their government agencies just pander to trash people and the criminal element in New Zealand. It's absolutely disgusting that um, well-behaved citizens have to deal with this. They accuse Kauinga of, of inaction due to a policy that prevents eviction of antisocial tenants under, at least in extreme cases, which is behind of What is extreme cases? If someone threatens to kill one of their neighbours, they've had 20 call outs for the police. Think about all the times the police weren't called out. What What's extreme supposed to be? This is absolutely disgusting. 
The couple say attendancy manager informed them on Friday that Kanga Rule was allowing a 21st party to go ahead. The couple are disgusted. The gathering was allowed to take place given the campaign of intimidation they've said they've been subject to. Unfortunately, there's no legality to stop the party, so unfortunately they couldn't do that. But what they should have done is evicted these trash people before um, the party took place. She said the tenants repeated both that they were exercising their right because the landlord had approved the party. Uh, police confirmed that a woman was arrested for assaulting an officer as understood she is the property's principal tenant. If you break the law, you should be chucked out of your state house. Oh my god. Nationals housing spokesperson Nicholas has complained to the Minister and Kainga Ora uh, board about the agency handling of the case. She said Kainga Ora is fighting to meet his legal obligation as a landlord. Exactly correct. Landlords have a legal obligation to evict antisocial tenants who are causing problems to people around them. So they have to do that. Willis has written to the Minister calling for the agency to abandon its no evictions policy to protect the rights of other law-abiding state house tenants. The law here is clear. All tenants have a right to enjoy their home without reasonable interference from other tenants. It is the landlord's responsibility to take actions which uphold that right. Kainga or is no termination policy undermines its ability to protect the safety of the tenants. The evictions ban is reaping a terrible toll on innocent New Zealanders across the country. I implore you to intervene to remedy these issues. Kainga or a Deputy CEO for Auckland and Northland, Caroline Butterworth, said the agency had been concerned about this case for some time and had worked with police, Iring Tamarik and other support agencies to address it as a priority. You haven't done anything! You've all this talking that you've done has done nothing to help the people that have to live next to these trash gang members. The behaviour has been acceptable, including the events on Saturday night. We know it's difficult and upsetting for neighbours. No one should ever feel unsafe in their home. Kainga August sought legal, legal advice on his ability to stop party, but like any landlord, there is no option for us to prevent it from occurring. Exactly correct. You can't stop a party from happening. You can just control what happens. The behaviours from Saturday are now being dealt with through the justice system. We are focused on our role of housing the most they're just abdicating their role right in that sentence right oh the they're being dealt with through the justice system we don't need to do anything further we just need to focus on our role of housing those in need evict these people get them to go and sleep under a bridge i don't give a shit they can go sleep at their gang pad whatever it is if there are children involved then put them into state care um I don't really care about these trash people. I do care about the people that have to live next to these people. I can, can't imagine what they have to go through. You know, let me know what you think in the comment section about these trash people and the bleeding liberal left-wing government um, who don't want to do anything because they want to be seen as being kind to everyone. You can't be kind to everyone. You have to be tough sometimes. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. And if you can also please subscribe, that would be awesome as well. Anyway, hopefully I will catch you in the next video.